Yo, what's going on, Boo Bears? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario Show. And today, this is our recap of Sunday's Best, the final four. Now listen, is it me or did they just do away with Kizzy? I don't remember seeing Kizzy get kicked off. What did they, what did they do with Kizzy? You know what? Kizzy family came to scene tonight. Did y'all see the Clark sisters open up? I just know Kizzy is a long distant cousin from the Clark sisters. I just know Dr. Maddie knows Kizzy. Somewhere they know each other. At least they know each other. Kizzy dressed like the Clark sisters. She looked like the Clark sisters. She probably smelled like the Clark sisters. And her hair is done just like the Clark sisters. Speaking of the Clark sisters, today on Sunday's Best, the Clark sisters opened up the show and did they do a phenomenal job. They brought Dorinda leading and then they had Karen Clark Shears leading with that Wonder Woman lace front wig. Now that was one of the worst wigs I've ever seen Karen in and I do love her but that was not a good pleasurable wig and they I think they may even use the Elmer's to tack it on with at the roots and oh I, I love I will always love my Tweaky and she just sits there and plays that piano she is the gospel Elton John that woman can write a song she can play the piano and doggone sure she can sing we love Tweaky Clark and you know I got hipped on her, her you know late in life so I feel a little cheated. It's kind of like when you lost $2,000, you will always have lost $2,000. So I got on late on Miss TT, and I got a nickname for her because I love Tweaky Clark. It's TT Clark, just like BB and CC. I don't sit down on it. I love TT Clark. It's my own personal name for her in my mind. That's my one of my closest gospel sisters. Okay, and did they do a whole hour? I think the Clark sisters did a whole hour. Now, y'all was supposed to do a song and go on and sit down on it. But they did the whole doggone hour. And we didn't even see the contestants compete because the Clark sisters were singing, which I don't mind. I just wish they had their sister, Kizzy Clark, um, sing with them. I'd miss Kizzy Walker. I just said it was something about Kizzy I like. She was never sure of herself, but Kizzy, you have something very amazing. And I do think that you would have a, um, a following. And if you just let go and let God, honey, you will be amazing. We love you. Okay? Now, the two final people that they have left now were my actual two final favorite people. Joshua, and I'm going to say their names right. I know I've joked on the previous videos and everything, and I call Joshua Josh and Alexis, Alexa, uh, Alex. Yeah, but I, I love them both. And those were my two favorite contestants. Um, all jokes aside, I think they have um, amazing vocal abilities, and they're very young, and I think they have so much room to grow, and they both are anointed in what they, what they do. And they both have a different look. Um, it's the, Now, I know I said in a previous video, Kim Burrell was going to eat Joshua. But today's show, it looks like Joshua ate Kim Burrell. Now, I don't know. He had them pants cinched, baby, with that belt. Now, just let the belt go a little bit. Um, Joshua. Now, Alexis. I loved her. She had red hair, red dress. And she sang a Kim Burrell song called Calvary. Uh, when the world began, there was God. Seems we have forgotten about him giving his only son. Yeah. Think about all the pain that he went through. You know, she just, Kim Burrell and Alexis sing the song, okay? Now, you know Kim Burrell has to show her value, just like somebody would if they're trying to prove to their boss that they're the valued employee. So she has to scream real loud and show her value as the coach. So they'll let her come back next week. But I do think that you can give constructive criticism without yelling and screaming and biting people like you're on bath salts. Um, that's all I'm going to say. You know, I love Kim Burrell. And then she had a little Beyonce dress on today. That little black and white Beyonce dress that Beyonce did deja vu on Tyra. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the dress that Kim Burrell had on tonight. And then go on YouTube and put Beyonce 
live on Tyra, Deja Vu. It was the same dress. Kim Burrell then stuffed herself in a Beyonce dress. That's why she's being mean. She like, look, I didn't lost a little weight. Now I'm going to be mean to you heifers. And you have foes. Okay. So, um... Who else do we have? I, I love Mike, um, Pastor Michael and Demetra, but I just did not feel that Demetra was as strong as Alexis. And um, I just didn't feel that she was as strong as her um, throughout the whole competition. And I do love um, Demetra's singing. And she's a pretty young lady, and her style is good. And she does have a place, but um, I think Alexis is a little bit more unique with her look, her sound. She definitely can hold her own because she could have lost control um, knowing that Kim Burrell was in the audience and um, that she was singing a Kim Burrell song. And instead, she just let go and let God, like I told Miss Kizzy to do earlier in the video. Okay. She just let go and let God and she sang the song and we connected with her. I didn't fully connect with Demetra. And um, so far as Pastor Michael, we love you. But Joshua um, has a, a more advanced talent, even in his younger age. And, um, you know, uh, Pastor Michael has his anointing with his um, pastoring and his vocals and things like that. And I think um, that's his lane. And I think Joshua's lane would be um, a Sunday's best, actually. Um, they're going to knuckle fight next week. We're going to give it to you the way you like it on the next week's recap, uh, which will start at 930. As you already know, Boo Bears, we're going to do the recap at 930 next week for uh, Alexis and Joshua knuckle fight. It's going to be like one of the best Sundays best ever. And we're going to be right there. We're going to capture it. And I hope to see you next time on It's Just Mario next week at 9.30 um, for our Sunday's Best Recap. And check out during the week for uh, random shows that I may possibly do. But definitely check me out next week for Sunday's Best. Oh, and didn't Kirk Franklin have on regular men's clothes today? Now, he didn't give it to me the way I liked it because he had on his Crockett and Tubbs Miami Vice jacket or it looks like a Rhythm Nation 1814 jacket. You know, Janet Jackson's jacket dipped in great. And he had on Tiger Woods pants. But he's trying. At least he's trying. And did you see last week when Kirk Franklin said Yolanda Adams was a tall glass of water? Heck! Stephanie Mills is a tall glass of water to you, Kirk Franklin. And we all know she's Thumbelina. So go on and sit down on it. Don't be talking. I know you weren't talking about Yo-Yo. That's your sister and you're her brother and everything. And one last thing I want to say about Kirk Franklin. Because we know he's talking about him every week. It's just not even worth it to do this. But Kirk kind of has smoker's voice. Yeah. JP, how you with me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like Smoker's voice. Go on and sit down on it. I'll see you guys next time on It's Just Mario Sunday Best Recap. And if your friend is putting a plural at the end of Sunday and they're saying, Oh, girl, did you see Sunday's Best? It's called Sunday Best. It ain't right saying words wrong when you know they should be right. Go on and sit down on it. I need you to work on that for yourself, okay? All right, so we're going to jam up out of here. All right? Put your hands together for me. And say, I'm going to see you next week, Mario. I'm going to see you next week, Mario. At 9.30. Hey, at 9.30. Hey, at 9.30. All right, I'll see you guys next time. When it's just Mario, I love you, Boo Bears. Peace.